TV source. So today I have a very yummy and cute DIY inspired by Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. In this video, I'll show you how to make the essence bottles and bags of bells from in the game. Also, I will teach you how to make an Animal Crossing advent calendar. These are super adorable to give as gifts or favors, so I hope you all enjoy it. Also, if you want to be friends in Animal Crossing, I'll leave my friend code in the description box down below and we can help each other out. Anyways, let's get on with the video. <laughs> to make these adorable essence bottles, you will need five sphere-shaped bottles and some printable sticker paper. Go ahead and print out the labels for each essence and cut them out to use later on. Next, fill up each bottle with drinks that are similar in color to the essence inside the game. Once that's done, you can go ahead and wipe down the bottles and start sticking on the labels. Make sure to match the color of the bottles with the right labels, blue being the cool essence, yellow is the natural essence, pink is the cute essence, and green is supposed to be the rustic essence instead of the sporty essence as shown here. But as a disclaimer, I filmed this video prior to the game releasing the rustic essence, so I had to switch it up for the colors between the sporty and rustic. Um, I have included all five bottles, so you'll see what I mean in the montage. So, these bags of bells are super cute and simple to make. To begin, you will need some burlap sacks and a star-shaped stencil. First, I put a piece of paper into the bag to have a sturdier surface to work on. Then, using the stencil, trace the edges of the star onto the burlap. You'll want to position it a bit closer towards the bottom so that once you tie up the bag, it'll look centered. After that's done, get some brown paint and fill in the star. You may or may not need to paint another coat depending on how saturated you want the star to look. Once the paint is dry, you can go ahead and fill up the bags with some chocolate coins. Yes, fill it all the way up. <laughs> to finish off the bag of bells, just simply tie a red ribbon to close it and you're done. Super simple. To make this Animal Crossing advent calendar, you will need a storage container that has dividers in it. The first thing you want to do is cut off the lid. Make sure you're being careful because it will fight back. After the lid is gone, you can go ahead and add in your choice of candy in each divider. I decided to add fruit flavored gummies in correlation to the types of fruit trees that are in Animal Crossing. Also, you may want to package your candy if they're not already packaged. Once that's done, grab some double sided tape and tape down the horizontal dividers on the inside. Remove the tape and then cut slits so that you can fold down the tape. After that, repeat these steps for the vertical dividers on the inside. This will allow you to secure the cover onto the container without the fuss of using glue. Next, cover the top with a decorative piece of paper. I just simply printed out the classic Animal Crossing background to use, place it on top, and then tape down the sides. Using another piece of paper of your choice, cut it to size so that it perfectly covers the bottom and the sides of the container. I use double-sided tape to secure the sides and then tape down the corners. Now you can leave it as is or decorate it more by printing out some characters or decorations onto printable sticker paper. I decided to add a peach tree with Isabel and an Animal Crossing player onto the cover. Printable sticker paper is super easy to use. You just print out whatever you want and then cut it out. Then you just need to peel the back side off and stick it onto wherever you want. Once you're done placing your stickers, you can add numbers as a guide to where each slot is located. I just used my hands to feel out where the dividers are and wrote the numbers onto the top right corners. This last part is optional, but I'm just adding ribbon onto the top side just to top off this cuteness and then you're done. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making this. I think everything turned out so cute. This would definitely be a nice DIY gift idea for all your Animal Crossing loving friends. Heck, you can even throw an Animal Crossing theme party and have these as favorites. Don't forget to add me on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I will leave my friend code in the description box below and we can help each other out. Also, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. So yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.